you've done your research, you've found some articles, so how do you know which ones to use? Not all information is equal, so choose your sources carefully. Fight the urge to use those first articles at the top of your search results. Here are some things to keep in mind when choosing your sources for your assignment. These tips can help you find great high quality sources, and the better your sources are, the better your assignment. Remember the five W's from your younger years? Who, what, when, where, why? You can use these cues to help you determine if your source is credible and right for your assignment. Who wrote the article or created the website? Don't assume the author is an expert. We all know it's pretty easy to write something and put it online, but just because someone wrote an article published in a magazine doesn't mean they are an expert on your topic either. Do what you can to find out about the author, even if that means you Google their name. So what makes someone an expert? Let's take a look at an example. For articles found in the library, look for a section called Author Affiliation. This will tell you where the author works or teaches. The authors are listed here with numbers next to their names. If we scroll down, we'll find the Author Affiliation section. Each number shows where those authors work. So Martha and Erica both work at the Department of Psychology at the University of Denver. When you're looking at articles through the library, you can also click on the author's name on this page to see what else she has written. If we click on Martha Wadsworth, we can see that she's written many articles and books on poverty. So what do you think? Is she an expert? For websites, look for an About Us section to learn more about the organization in charge of the website. If we look at this website, we really don't find any information about who wrote this article and who is in charge of the information on the site. The next thing to consider is what is the article really about? This will save you time later on as you are writing your paper. It will help so you don't sit down later on to write your paper only to find out that the article doesn't even work, forcing you to go all the way back to square one to look for articles again. So think about this. Is the article actually about your topic or does it just mention it in a couple places? This may not seem like a big deal, but it really will save you a lot of time. Also think about whether or not the article fits the requirements of your assignment. Did your instructor say the article had to be only a few years old, or does it have to come from a certain type of resource, like a newspaper or an academic journal? And think about who the article was written for. Is it completely over your head, or is it written for children and too simple for what you need? Dates are important too. When was the article written, or does that matter? If you're doing research on things like medicine or technology, dates are very important. New developments happen all the time in these fields and you want to make sure you have the current information. If you were doing research on historical information though, the date may not matter. For websites, check to see when the article was written or last updated. Beware of using information that doesn't have a date. And remember, the copyright date at the bottom of the page is not necessarily the same thing as when the article was written. If your article talks about researcher data, be sure to look at the date on that as well. Your article may be new, but they could be talking about a study done 20 years ago. In our sample website, the author mentions a study on childhood poverty, but he doesn't list the date. How do we know how current it is? Okay, thinking about what we have covered so far, we will pretend that the article from our sample website here was written a few months ago, even though it doesn't have a date on it. Which of the two articles that we looked at would you use? Did you go for the most recent article with the unknown author, or do you pick the older one written by authors who you determined were experts? Now on to where. There are a couple of things to think about here. When you think about where the article is published, look at the type of resource. If your article is from the library, did it come from a magazine or a scholarly journal? These two types of articles are very different and the information you find in them will be different too. If you're looking at a website, is the site a blog or an established news site? Again, the type of information you find on the different websites will not be the same. Another thing to think about is where the information comes from. 
check to see if the author cited his sources, especially if he's presenting you with factual information. In our sample website, the author refers to a study, but there is no link to the study and no bibliography. Watch out for any article that has facts and data, but doesn't say where that comes from. Are we supposed to just take him at his word? If a website has links, click on them to make sure the links are working and go to the correct place. And lastly, why? Every article has a purpose. Is it to inform, persuade, entertain, or sell you something? If you're not sure about the purpose, think about the author's tone in the article. Is it professional and informative, or does he use emotional, exaggerated language, and does it seem like he's trying to get a reaction out of you? Always be on the lookout for bias. Is the author telling you both sides of an issue, or does it seem like other points of view are left out? And keep in mind, just because you are using an article from the library doesn't mean it isn't biased. The library contains resources with many different points of view, including some that have bias. If you're not familiar with a source, whether it's a website, a magazine, or a journal, look it up to see what their mission or goals are. This may help you determine the purpose or the point of view. And always be on the lookout for fake news sites. There are a lot of them out there, and some of them are really great at fooling people.